Does your spouse sometimes just really irritate the heck out of you? I mean, seriously, like I had this problem for a while with my husband where he would not take out the trash, which it's not like him, but the the attitude he gave me when I would ask him was such a problem. And I want to share with you a really powerful way that I solved that situation, had him be thrilled and happy, and I feel amazing about it too. So today I'm going to give you a really cool tip about how to take the irritation you have about your partner or really anyone in your life and turn it into something amazing. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow, which means feeling light, open, and wise. And I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. All right. So here's the scenario, right? I'm sitting in the kitchen. My husband's getting ready to take off and leave. Our, we kind of live in the country. And so our trash is separate from our house by a little ways. We have to you know, take it out to the garage kind of thing. So it's not an easy haul. And I do everything I can around this house. I mean, I work my butt off around my home. And I don't expect a lot from my husband because he works really hard too. So I would, you know, wait for him to be taking off and heading out that way. And I would say, hey, can you take the the trash out? And I would get this nasty look and this total attitude. And this happened for a long time. And it's not like him. And then he would take the grab the trash and go out with his little nasty attitude. And then I would be left kvetching in the kitchen, being all bitchy and upset. Right, of course, because he gave me this attitude and my head would go off on, I do everything around here and I hardly ask for anything and blah, 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 blah. And there, you know, I mean, come on. Insert household chore task with spouse, right? For your own (laughs) issue, right? Well, Well, all of a sudden I woke up to the fact that my internal guidance system was closed. And now if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, IGS for short, please go to zenatamoment.com and there is a video there where I walk you through this thing you were born with that is giving you guidance on what you're thinking and helping you have a happier, more successful life. You can physically feel it. I'll walk you through a video really quick and then you'll know what I'm talking about, zenatamoment.com. So anyways, I'm sitting there one day and I teach this for a living for goodness sakes and I wake up to the fact that what I'm thinking is closing me, meaning what I'm thinking is not true or not going to happen. So I'm sitting there going, it is absolutely true that my husband is giving me this attitude anytime I ask him to take the trash out. In fact, it came to a place for several months. I just did it myself because I didn't want to deal with his garbage, <laughs> pun intended. Well, what happened was, is I was sitting there thinking, I, I can't find an opening. I, everything that I'm thinking closes me about this situation. So I sat my husband down. And this is how I solve the problem. As I said, what is going on with you and this attitude you're giving me about the trash? Now, he immediately flung up a bunch of attitude about the trash. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm not here to have a fight. I'm here to find out how to solve it. Do you, do you just not want to take the trash out? And I should just do it because you hate it so much? And he goes, no, that's not the problem. And I said, well, then what is the problem? I don't understand. And he said, well, first of all, you always ask me to take the trash out when I'm leaving to go somewhere. And I'm like, right, because you have to go past the trash to leave. He goes, yeah, I'm also completely clean and dressed. And you're asking me to go and touch a dirty trash can. My husband's very fastidious and clean. He does not like dirt. Uh, So anyways, I, I suddenly it hit me that he had to come back in the house. He's all ready to go. His hands are full of stuff. That was the other thing that really pissed him off. His hands were full of stuff. He's all ready to leave to go do his thing. And I'm asking him to take this trash out. So he has to go out and take the trash out, come back and wash his hands, pick up his stuff again and go. But that wasn't the last of it. The other thing was, is he was trained as a kid that you replace the trash bag when you take the trash out. Oh my gosh, of course, that is the way to do it, right? We all know that. Well, the problem is, is with our particular trash can, you have to tie a knot in the bag. And he says, I never get the knot right. My fingers are too fat and I never get the knot right. So what happens is, is he ties it too tight or he ties it too loose and the whole thing is frustrating for him and he hates putting the bag back in the trash can. I got it. And I felt so bad that this whole time I thought I was making it easier on him when I asked him to do it by taking it on his way out. And I was making his life way more complex and painful. So now he takes the trash out when he sees that it's full. I said, hey, all I, all I want is that you notice that it's full and take it out. And the rule in our house is I always put the trash bag back in the trash room because I don't have a problem tying the knot. My fingers are little and I always get it right. I never have a problem getting it right on the trash can. So now it's my job for the rest of eternity. Gosh, that made him happy. He's like, really? 
I never have to put a trash bag in the trash can again? I said, no. Thrilled him to no end. And we now have a very happy household and the trash gets taken out and it's all easy. My point is this. It was obvious that he was irritated and it was obvious that I was closed in my irritation with him being irritated. And it was using my IGS to slow down and find out what was really going on to get him back into his pleasure. He wants me to be happy. He wants to do things around the house. I tell him every time he takes a trash out, thank you so much, I love you, I'm so happy you did that. There are things with our, with our significant others that are really important that we're, not, we're glossing over, we're moving too fast. And so when you're irritated, irritation is closing. When you're irritated with your significant other, what you're thinking is not true about them, not true about the situation or not gonna happen. The way that you're thinking about the situation is off, and it will create suffering, and hopefully not, but it can create tragedy in our relationships. So slowing down and noticing that you're irritated, which means what you're thinking is not true, allows you to have an opening conversation with what is true. How can I make this better? How can I make it work for you too, baby? So next time you're irritated with anyone you significantly love, Know that what you're thinking isn't true and, and use this as an opportunity to find out what is true so you can come back into beauty and relationship together. I've been using this tactic with my husband now and it's working so beautifully and he feels heard and seen and like I really care about him. And I would love to hear from you about some of the irritating things that you have by commenting below. Some of the irritating things that you're experiencing with your spouse and how you could use this to open up. Uh, and, and, and I'd love to hear your success stories too. So this is Zen in the Moment, the podcast that's here to help you use stress as guidance. Please share, share, share this information. I would really like the internal guidance system work and the information on ways to use it to be spread throughout the world. It makes a, such a difference. Thank you so much for listening. Until I, you have an opportunity to be with me again, I'm sending you love and blessings.